So let's go through how to use the Captions app on the Mac. It's very simple, captions.ai slash download. You can get access to their beta. There is a Captions app for the phone, uh, but the beta is for the computer and it's pretty decent and it's getting better every day. Well, I wanna show you really quick how to adjust the colors uh, so that it looks the way you want it to look. So the way you use it is first you go upload a video then you find the video that you want to use, and I'm gonna upload number two right here. It takes a few moments for it to upload, and then once you upload it, you'll click the button to get the transcription. If your video is larger, it'll take longer to upload. If your video is shorter, you can expect it to take less time. Once it loads, it pops up right here, so we're gonna click on it. Uh, this has not been translated yet, or this hasn't been, um, captioned yet, so we'll click continue, and then it'll take a few minutes to then add captions throughout the video. Now that the captions are added, it automatically makes uh, the selection this serious minus the green active word. So right away, it, is, it applies um, that particular style. Uh, and so what you can do is you can go through, and if you see something that needs to be corrected, you just click in, you make the correction, then you click out, and it's good to go. If you wanna change the colors, you can see over here on the right-hand side, I have the color that I want. Right now, they don't allow you to save your colors into a template. I expect that will change pretty soon. So I like doing the emphasis color is just white. And then the background color, there is a little dropper tool. You can click right here to cycle through hex, RGB, or SHL. I like using the dropper tool. And then I go over to the color that I previously had selected on the phone. Uh, in the phone app, I click that. It changes right there. I like scrolling down and giving the randomized rotation. So the talking to a camera and I So you see it's all it's it's horizontal completely um, you know, zero degrees. Well you can do randomized rotation and then when you play it, it, it'll go back in live stream. So it changes it up for engagement. I'll drag that up a little bit so that any social media uh, platform that I posted on, the information right here won't cover up the caption. And now I'm ready to export. So we'll click export. It'll take a few moments to export. Once it's done exporting, you click download and you can save it to wherever you want. In this case, I'm gonna save it to my captions folder. Close, and now it's done. It's really straightforward. You back out here and you can see all of the ones that you've done in the past. You can click delete, get rid of them. Uh, you can upload more. And um, Captions is constantly updating. So if you're not on their Discord channel, you can just go to check for updates every several days and there will most likely be a new one. So that's how you use Captions on the desktop. Remember, it's in beta. It's getting better every day. And this will likely change what you see uh, versus this video. Uh, it's likely what you'll uh, see is going to change over time, but that gets you going for now. Thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe.